Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Magic the Harvesting. My name is Michael Batman Guy and today it's a bit foggy outside, or rather cloudy. I'm way up here in the sky on top of a custom built cloud that I positioned precisely over my wind turbine way down there. You can, as I can zoom in, you can, you can kind of see that the cables are rendering, uh, the generators are not. Uh, Minecraft's funny that way. So I've got a new wind turbine. I built a second one. Uh, they're not expensive. So I, I whipped up another. Because I thought I had tested the height difference on power production from wind turbines. And, oh, maybe that version just wasn't uh, working properly at the time. Or I just wasn't uh, testing the difference you know, extreme enough to notice. But you can see we've got some very different numbers here. Uh, for one, this guy's buffer is completely full. 200 kilojoules. That's that's the number at top. Power, 480 as opposed to 176. This is the power production of the wind turbine. 480 joules per tick. Uh, the output here, 960. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. I really don't. Other than double the, the power. I've put, I can put cable on here. And I, I did test this, uh, but the output, the throughput from cable to, say, an energy cube is still 480. So it's not like the wind turbine generates 480, but puts out 960 through a cable. That that just doesn't happen. This is just a typo. I got. I don't have the latest version of mechanism. We got to update uh, yet again. That will happen eventually. It's kind of a headache to do, so I avoid it as much as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, we can generate a lot more power by sticking this guy up here. Problem is getting it way back down there. That's a lot of cable. I don't want to run that much cable. We're going to do something wireless. How? You may ask. Well, we've got a spot here we can put in. I, I tried... Um, there, there are two wireless things in, in this mod. All of them really from Extra Utilities. Extra Utilities does have an ender, transmitter, and receiver. You could put these onto, say, um, the uh, energy transfer nodes and actually do it that way. However, as I have tested before, uh, I, I think we tried this on camera, do the different generators and things, You, this will not connect to Extra Utilities power conduit nor will an energy transfer node connect to a mechanism a universal cable, it's not clearly as universal as they so claimed or the energy cube so we're gonna have to do an ender chest and push back and forth uh, some of those amazing energy tablets we fill them up here and empty them down there not a problem. The trick will be putting them in and taking them out when they're both empty and full. I have no idea how I'm going to detect that yet. I might need a computer. I don't know. We'll see if there's a way to somehow read. I don't have a lot of the more advanced uh, automation mods that one would usually have for this kind of thing, but I want to give it a try anyways. I think it would be a fun project, and I have not done a fun uh, technical project really in, oh god, a really long time. Man, it takes forever just to fall. Oof. Flying up there is even more of a pain. Uh, but we got we got things to create. Uh, one, we're going to need a pair of ender chests. Two, we're going to need a whole bunch of energy tabs. And three, we're going to need something, kind of a hopper, some kind of, maybe a logistical sorter. Round robin, auto, default. Um, ooh, this can... This guy... Maybe the logistical sorter can determine the difference between a empty energy tablet and a full energy tablet. They do have that different, um... What's it called? Metadata, I believe. We might be able to play with that. So, let me work on, um the stuff I know how to do, and that is make ender chests. We're going to need eight obsidian, 
for the pair of them. No, let me let me put away as much stuff as I can. Why I didn't didn't I have a thing for clouds? I thought I had collected some clouds. This is Skyblock. Oh, it's a dark cloud. It's not cloud cloud. Okay, let's put cloud cloud in here. Anything we can do with this? Can we die? Causes lightning strikes. It's a little bit dangerous. Let's let's put that outside. We'll just uh put that put that right here. There we go. Maybe maybe something will lightning. How does it cause lightning strike? Can we power it with a redstone signal? Make it strike lightning? That would be incredible. I I have to try it. Just in case it works, we have to try it. Okay, I can't put it there. It's gonna have to be indirect. No. Okay, worth a shot. That'd be super cool. It says causes lightning. Maybe it's just random. They add an extra random chance. I don't know what to do with these extra Minisio seeds. I don't, I don't have a place for them. The ones that I uh, broke from the top up there. Got a spot in here? Yes, and... No, I could have sworn didn't, didn't we have them in the chest that we used to have over there until we updated the kitchen... And I used them for crafting all the things. Yeah, except these are unidentified and these are just basic. They haven't been bred to 10-10-10. That's okay. That's okay. We'll put those feathers away and we'll file uh, this feather away. And we'll save the chain. Ooh, ooh. I mean, yes, save the chain. Uh, but I know I'm t totally getting distracted from our distraction from our distraction. But I remember there is a solution. If you so recall this page from last episode, different chains, there's also a block that looks like chains. A fantasy block. So we need to make a fantasy block, which requires us to make a purpled fantasy block, which is stone around a gold nugget. I think I can handle that. It's a bit pricey, but we'll, we'll break the bank trying. I think we can we can afford it. We'll bounce back. So that goes there. And then these go around something white. Something white. Do we have any white white dye? Right? It was. See like this one made from that thing, which is oh, bone meal. So that's light grey. White rose. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I didn't want to walk all the way outside. I know I've got chest full of the stuff, but it's way over there. All right. Now we just need our good old friend, the chisel. Where are you? Chisel. Chisel! Turn this into chain. Put that there. Put that there. And now, that is a lot uglier, actually. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I just don't, I don't know what to replace this block with. Maybe if we just, maybe we do a block of the, the chain. Like, two chains leading up to a block of chain. To the chandelier. That's not bad. That's not too bad. It's better. I would say this is definitely better than that. It's not as weird with the the sky block thing. That was this guy. Yeah, let's put that away. Okay, let's start with that then. Let me get the rest of the chains. Um, didn't I have more? Yeah, I need I need another set of those things. Thank you. And we still have we have the two rainbow eucalyptus. I need two more uh, planks. Thank you. Here you go. There. A little decorating. A little uh, mechanisming. I think I think right here. This is this is the spot. Does this line up with that one? Yes. Okay. You go there. You oh. Hmm. That's cutting it a little close. 
don't you think? Huh, I did not think this through. Okay, obviously we can't do, uh, ah! Can't do two lengths of chain and then a block, and then because then it would be touching this. I could push this back. I could do that. I don't really want to, but we could push the platform back. Sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, we really need these things over here because it's kind of kind of dark. That's a lot better. We need to put torches up there or something. All right, and we'll. Fin uh, I could push them out one, it wouldn't be symmetrical, it wouldn't be over the the spot there on the carpet, so then the whole thing would be off. Uh, hmm. Maybe we just do two. Maybe we just do two. I think we're just going to do two. And these things will float in midair just fine. That's cool. That's cool. You do what you gotta do, man. It's alright with me. Half this stuff takes a pickaxe. Most of the stuff, most of this takes a pickaxe. Okay, just the wood. Fine. Alright, well that's nice. It, it does add. It does add a lot. Um, specifically to the overuse of rainbow eucalyptus. Yes, I admit it. There is too much. I'm sorry. All right, excuse me, Cal. I mean, to put those, I don't know what I'm going to do with the slabs. All right, back to the uh, task at hand. <clears throat> uh, we wasted half the half the episode. Oh my god, that's a lot of iron. And there's still there's still more, and yet more, and there is not enough room for all of the. Holy cow! Okay. We need, we need tablets, which means we need all the compressed redstones. And uh, probably just grab a stack of iron. We're going to need many, many advanced alloys for many, many things. So you go there, make me 30 things. Advanced alloys. Uh, right. What we're we working on? Ender chest. That's right. Oh, it's uh, eight blaze rods for obsidian. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And pearl chest and wool of some variety. Two pearls. I have chests in here. We gotta pick a color of pearl. Or wool. Um. Hmm. 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 Where, where did I have that wool? Oh, here's where, where's where I put it. We've got uh, apparently we have the most gray, so we'll grab some gray. But I don't want gray. I want green. So let's take eight wool and turn it. Green. Green shrub should turn into a cactus green. Then we take the cactus green in the crafting table, surround it with wool, and get green wool. Um, yeah, yeah, regular green will work. Uh, I was thinking green because the universal cables are green on the inside that that's the like color of mechanism energy juice that's a bright like lime green so maybe we need lime green wool how do we make lime green is that uh green and white bone meal plus green lime dye okay okay one more time Try this again with the wool, the lime, and the coconut. Drink it all up. Lime wool. There we 
go. Now that looks like it will transmit energy. So bright and festive. I like it. I don't know what to do with the rest of the stuff. Back, back in here. No, wait. I was putting these into drawers. There we go. Now we got lime green dye. So we got just to put the energy tablets in. We've got... Uh, well, there's a whole bunch of gold up there. Let's just grab a stack of redstone. And we'll take these. And some of this. And make, like, nine? Should we start with nine? I guess we're starting with nine. Nine energy tablets. Uh, uh, uh. And we'll put one over... Put it there. There we go. And we'll take the other one to put it up there. And now we just need to find a way to pull um, things out of it, actually. So maybe we do want a logistical sorter. I've got to test it sometime. And I've got time now. Oh, there's other sorting things. Thalmic Exploration adds some kind of Thalmic Explorer auto sorter. And there's a fish sorter. We're not sorting fish. We're sorting tabs. I need iron, basic controller, and a piston. Well, do I have a spare piston? Spare piston, spare piston. No, I have redstone. I have cobblestone. I need to get some wood and redstone on my person. And I can make a piston. Stick with the redstone. Uh, we're making iron up there, but I need I need one for the piston. And wood, wood. Where did, where did we put oak wood? Didn't I just say I wanted oak wood because it can craft into anything? And now I'm not keeping any in here. <sighs> Get some myself. There we go. Oak wood. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I gotta put that thing back together. Oh, it never ends. That's not what I want. Some of this into some of that. Dark oak wood. Oh, I made the recipe use dark oak. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, I'm so clever. I was too forward thinking for my own good. Oh, and I killed it! Got the wrong button! Ah! <sighs> okay, we're just gonna have it use regular wood now. It's fine. It's fine, except I don't have cobblestone on me. Dang it. Put it back on the thing and make it with the wood and the iron and the cobble. You know, if we could have like a uh, ore dictionary super crafting frame, that'd be great. Okay, make me a piston. Bing! You're a piston. Thanks, thanks, game. <sighs> Was that so? Was there wood in there? I still have 64. Ah, oh, right there the whole time. Ah. All right, I still need the iron ingot though. Okay, and I need more iron ingots to make and uh, one of these. Do, do, do. Iron, iron. I'll take that. Thank you. Piston. Thing. Mm, yep. Uh, logistical sorter. Now, to really test this, I've got to get like one of these to be charged. So you go in there. You go right there. Let's zip over and grab a chest to put them in. I, I think it'll just go right to it. I don't need to add a piece of logistical transporter. 
And let me take one. So new filter. Um, item. Insect details. Energy tablet. Status all okay. A minimum, maximum. What does the S stand for? I don't remember. Oh, this is... Give it a color. We don't need to give it a color. We can, we can call it dark green. Or is, is there like bright green? Bright green! Save. Okay. Go. Go, grab it. Grab an item filter or a energy tablet. Maybe Maybe it'll grab a full one. Maybe it does need a piece of logistical transport. Fine. So picky. Just there. Pipe there. Come on. Off. Grab the energy tablet, please. All okay. Minimum zero, maximum one. <gasps> okay, that's right. The maximum was zero. It grabbed the empty ones. And it left the full one! Yes! Success! We can at least grab half of them. Alright, we've got one half. We're gonna have to put the other half together next time on Minecraft Magic the Harvesting. I'm excited. Super excited for this. My name is Michael Batman Guy. Thank you very much for watching. It's working! I'll see you next time.